Hi, welcome to Spark Tutorial Inter Equation Series. In this video, we are going to see about uh, one of the most important question, and I have observed that many times the interior is focusing whether you have the good knowledge on Spark, and if you have knowledge on Spark, definitely it will be a point where you're always a good position to select into the con uh, company so uh, most of the times when we are working on the production environment we need to deal with the structural kind of data and non-structural kind of data so let us talk about the data which is having a json and csv kind of data so we need to understand how we can load this kind of data into the spar and based on that only they will be trying to you know focus and they are trying to ask you uh, many questions so let us try to understand how we can read the data csv data and the json data okay so in order to load csv and the json data we need to use this command only spark.read.format so spark is one object which is by using this object you can load the csv data and by using the spark.read.json also you can load the json data so we are going to see this thing in a practical way so that you will understand the things in a better way okay and let us go and see the things so spark share is already open over here so first of all i will load the json data so in order to load the json data we need to type the command as spark dot read dot json and after that here we need to provide the location where the json file is available there are two things if your data if your data is available on the hdfs you can mention the hdfs colon and then the path of hdfs path if your data is available on the local file system that path also you can mention over there here in my case the file is available on the local file system so i was talking about the windows file i will just show you where the file is available so this is the employee.json file is there and here you can see on the top this is the path app and how to youtube this is the path so i will just copy this path and please mention it in a double quotes and then slash employee.json since it's a windows platform we need to make sure that it should be like this backward slash will not work on the windows platform so we are reading the json file in the spark object and in order to display the data from the json file you can directly use show method which will show you the data from the json file so this is how you can load the data from the json file now we are going to see how to load the data from the csv you can do the same way only the difference is spark.read. and then just if you don't know what is the method you can just use the tab it will show you what are all the methods we have so here you can see you can load the csv data json data and this is the json only we have used recently now we are going to use the csv but when you are using the csv directly over here you will find one issue with the columns let me show you and our csv file is also available on the same location only the name is different so customer.csv is the name so i will just copy the path from the previous one only this is the path edit and copy paste and here the name of the file is customer.csv customer.csv that's fine we have loaded the csv file and let's try to call the show method which will show you 
all the records which will be available in the csv format so these are the records which we can see over here here only one problem you can find it the columns are showing it as a c0 c1 c2 so this is not a right format right so in order to remove this kind of stuff you can use the uh, spark dot read dot and we here we have option method is also available so we can go with the option method let me show you so this is the json file which is available on the local file system and this is the method that we need to use in order to open the csv file spark dot read dot and then format we need to specify this is the csv and this is what i was talking about here we are mentioning header equals to two true and load in load we need to provide the csv path so i'm just copying this command and we are trying to load the file one more time this is done and let's try to call the show method now now you can see the proper data with the header itself and this is the data which is coming from the csv file and on the top you can see the data which is coming from the json file now i hope you guys understood how we can load the json json file and the csv file in the spark 2.0 if you have any queries you can write mail to me please do like subscribe my channel and please get uh, please press the bell icon also to get the updates for any queries you can comment and if you want to contact me this is the official website you can see here you will find a lot of blogs related to the hadoop development and the oracle database administration and this is the channel on which you can subscribe thank you so much bye bye for the day